Hi, I'd like to talk a little bit today about veganism, vitamin B12, and mental illness. And my hope for my viewers today is that you all will come away with what not to do. Um, I've made some significant um, decisions that probably have not been good around this, and um, and so I wanted to share them with the hopes of maybe helping to prevent other people from going down the same path. Okay, a little background. I decided in late October of 2012 that I was going to become a vegan, and I decided this overnight uh, after watching the video documentary Forks Over Knives, which talked about veganism and factory farming and the whole realm. So I decided I was going to become a vegan. Now, I pretty much have been, I've had a vegetarian um, diet for, at least since my teens. Uh, I've been eating a little meat off and on, um, but primarily I've been vegetarian. Um, so I thought, you know, going from vegetarian to being a vegan wasn't going to be a problem. And uh, it wasn't really, you know, in terms of I wasn't really craving meat. I've never really been a meat eater, so I thought it was no big deal. So I became a vegan. And um, around December, I... Um, decided as well that I uh, didn't need this psychotropic medication that I was on and I was just going to stop it because it was not of any benefit to me so I was just going to stop it. So I stopped the medication. Um, now around January of this year uh, I started to have some health issues and I went to my doctor and primarily for a physical, but also for my health issues. Part of my mental health aspect was that I was really, you know, going to take care of myself. I was going to go and get an annual checkup and, you know, do all this really healthy stuff. It just so happened I wasn't feeling very well at the time that I went. So my doctor did some testing and um, pretty much came back and said, you know, you look, you're, you're in good health. Everything is good. So, uh, but I told him that I had stopped this medication and I thought, well, maybe, you know, some of what I was experiencing was this medication that I, you know, had been taking. He said, well, tell you what, what you should do is go back on this medication and, you know, taper off. So I said, okay. Um, to make a long story short, because I don't really need to make this story long. Um, so I went back on my medication and I um, tapered off. It was was actually still am, was tapering off and um, realized that I was still feeling the same way and uh, what I've been feeling has been um, just lethargic and um, depressed and just not good, just feeling not good. So, um, and then also having a lot of tingling. So I said, this is not good. So the smart thing that I did is I decided uh, to go to a second doctor. Actually, I have two doctors. So I went to my second doctor and I talked to her and let her know that I had spoken to my first doctor and um, that I have a good rapport with and just thought it would be helpful maybe to get another set of eyes um, to help me figure out what's going on. So um, she did a really thorough examination and um, did a lot of, actually did a lot of neurological um, tests and um, asked me about my diet in more detail and said to me essentially, it looks like you might have a vitamin B12 deficiency. And um, now the thing about it is um, the symptoms for vitamin B12 deficiency um, are actually the same symptoms of uh, this medication withdrawal that I'm having. So in some ways it's hard to figure out whether I'm having 
problems with the medication or if I'm having problems with B12. Um, so the, one of the lessons that I learned from this is one, shouldn't make two big decisions at the same time. So um, it would have been easier to probably isolate what was happening if I had uh, gone off my um, shoot, gone off my medication uh, and gotten that done with, and then decided to become a vegan or vice versa. Um, but doing them simultaneously and having my system kind of disrupted and not knowing what's going on makes it a little bit difficult. Um, so that was one lesson that I learned. You know, don't do two things at once, big things that could you know, disrupt your life um, health-wise at the same time. And secondly, which <laughs> people know I should be embarrassed around, um, is you know, if you're on psychotropic medication and you know, under the care of a psychiatrist, then you should probably talk to your doctor when you're planning to go off your medication. So um, I neglected to do that, and um, but will this coming week um, go speak with a psychiatrist to try to determine whether it's the medication that's creating this problem as well, or just to try to sort out um, what's happening. Okay. Um, I think that the biggest concern that I have as a mental health consumer is that in the past, I don't really ever recall anyone asking me about my diet. Um, you know, I've been asked, you know, how's your appetite? You know, are you eating? Uh, but the question of what am I eating has not been, uh, it's not been it's not come up so and I think that's a really big um, travesty because if in fact you have a vitamin deficiency and uh, your provider will go and decide that you're going to need uh, you know antidepressants for example then the deficiency doesn't really seem like it's addressed and so it, it's just, I don't know, I, I'm not being very articulate around it. Um, but a vitamin B12 deficiency is a big thing. And if you are a vegan, you definitely need a, let's see, a vitamin B12 supplement. Um, and that will hopefully, we shall see, and I should report back, help to really alleviate a lot of the symptoms that you might be experiencing as a result of that deficiency. And the symptoms being, you know, your fatigue, your depression, you know, your, your just type of agitation, um, you know, that, that might be addressed. So um, it's, it's concerning to me that if you're already a consumer and you you're a mental health consumer and you have, you know, mental health issues, uh, oh shucks, can't figure out what I'm trying to say. So in this long version of a nutshell, um, I'd like to share if you're new to veganism, thinking about becoming a vegan, um, you're going to want to think about how are you going to get uh, your B12 supplements um, or B12 into your diet. Um, if you don't have that, you could be at risk. I know everybody is different, um, but you could be at risk, uh, you know, for some various complications, medical complications. Uh, that's one thing. Secondly, if you are already a mental health consumer, you will probably want to talk with your doctor um, or doctors, um, you know, around, around what you are thinking about and how you're planning to approach it. It's the second thing. And the third thing, I don't think I have a third thing, um, but I think that's
that's all in a nutshell. Thanks.